Hello, I'm Adam. Welcome to another video from Talking Auto. So here with me today, I've picked up this 2020 Mazda 6 from TW White & Sons in Orpington. I'm going to have this over the next three to four days, just reviewing it day to day basis. Don't forget for more car content, like and subscribe. Let's check out inside. Okay, so here inside the car, got this lovely leather steering wheel. On the left here, you've got all your volume controls. And on the right here, you've got all your adaptive cruise control settings. Got a nice dash bit there. It's all very well set out. Coming around into the center console. Again, this is the six speed auto. You've got sports button there, electric handbrake, auto hold. A couple of cup holders. That's all your air conditioning. This is dual climate uh, air con, this one. You've got the heated and vented front seats. And up here is your entertainment system. As you can see, this at the moment, this is on the IE loop. Now this car actually comes fitted with a cylinder deactivation system. Just meaning that um, when you are in, into a sixth gear, say for instance, at 70 mile an hour on a motorway, it just knocks a couple of cylinders out just for better fuel uh, consumption. Okay, so on this as well, there's a couple of other settings. So if you just go into the home screen, we have the applications, you've got your entertainment, that's your phone, your sat nav, and your settings. So this car also comes with, as it's the GT Sport uh, model, it also comes with the black headlining. And this one has uh, 11 Bose speaker surround sound system in it. You can just see down there, which is a really good system. And up here on this seven inch display here, this one actually comes fitted with the 360 degree cameras. So it has the front camera, the rear camera and the two side cameras. Again, that's, that's a really good uh, safety feature on this. Also comes with the frameless rear view mirror, as you can see there which is very nice as well. And we have our tilt and slide sunroof. Let's check out in the back. Okay, so here in the back, they're getting the same nice uh, leather seats in the back here. This being a GT Sport model, again, this comes with the two rear outer heated seats and you have two USB ports here and a little felt line tray in your armrest there. I've got uh, quite good room, headroom in the back here, very good knee room. And uh, this also comes with, with the Isofix uh, for the baby seats on the two outer rear seats also. Let's take you around to the boot. Okay, so here around the back, this being a saloon, it has a huge boot on this one. Very big indeed. Underneath there comes with your um, spare wheel uh, foam in case you get any of the punches. This one's also has these little levers here that you can pull and it releases the rear seats so you can do your through loading. Let's take you around the front. Okay, so around the front here, this is the 2.5 Sky Active G petrol engine. This is auto, produces about 194 brake horsepower. This does 0 to 60 in about 8.1 seconds top speed of 139 mile an hour. This produces an average uh, fuel consumption of 37.2. Let's go for a drive. Okay, so yeah, inside here, just gonna take it for a little drive. Just get the feel, feel things, uh, the suspension, the way the uh, throttle response, stuff like that. It's all on first impressions. As I say, the throttle response is pretty good. As I said before, this is the 2.5 um, petrol automatic one. So got plenty of torque, 
plenty of uh, punch on this engine, this particular engine. Uh, yeah, the steering feels really nice. First impressions, feels quite responsive. Again, now this one's fitted with the 19 inch alloys. So it does handle well. I've been in cars that when they've got the bigger alloy, uh, can be a bit bumpy, but this one's actually pretty smooth. It, it, it uh, handles the bumps quite well, actually. Um, again, this has got uh, some other extras fitted on it. Uh, this has got the heads up display, which I don't think I mentioned uh, before. Again, that's very good. So it tells you all your traffic um, flow and stuff like that if, it, if it's got it set up on it. Tells you your speed of that particular road that you're on, tells you your mile an hour. Um, if you've got the sat nav on, it brings up the direction of um, which way to turn and etc. Um, yeah, it's it's all there in front of you. It's pretty good. Again, because of the heads up display you in front of you, you haven't really got to take your eyes off the road ahead um, at all, really. Um, yeah, so this has got another few, some more features. It's got the blind spot monitoring on this one. It's also got the, I think I have mentioned about the cruise control. It's got radar cruise control, which again is very good. So it keeps you, if you have got your cruise control, it keeps you a safe distance from the car in front of you when on your motor, when on the motorway. Um, yeah, it's, it's actually really good, really good uh, systems, safety systems on, on this particular car. I think this is, um, these are set amongst the whole of the Mazda range. So I've had this car for a few days now and as I said before I'm really impressed with it I've done the school runs I've had my daughter in the back again she loves this car there's plenty of space the missus again loves this car we've done the shopping trip in it and for a day-to-day -day living with this car it's really good the boots big enough for you know your push chairs your prams your golf clubs shopping I've had two people in the back of this perfectly fine very comfortable very spacious in the back for them as well as I say it's got the heated seats so on the colder mornings it's been nice for them and uh, yeah it's, it's just generally uh, a good all-round car um, for day-to-day -day living with um, yeah really impressed with it so this car is actually going back today TW White and Sons have asked me to let the viewers know uh, that this current car is actually for sale. This is their X demonstration car. Uh, it's currently done around 1,600 miles. Um, head down to TW White & Sons in Orpington. I'll leave a link in the description below. Uh, they'll be happy to assist you with any questions on this car or any of their other cars in the Mazda range. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, once again, thank you to the viewers uh, for watching these videos. See you on the next one.